and hello everybody and welcome back to the stream or if it's your first time here welcome hope you're all having a fantastic saturday or whatever day it is for you right now and we are back so we started kindergarten two yesterday we did uh two of the missions we got partly way through one of them and i've already forgotten what we were doing in that one but that's fine because we're gonna go and we're gonna do it today and now hope you all been having a fun time with this game i certainly have it's very funny and hilarious and uh yeah let's go join the nug club so uh let's get the show on the road right all right uh get which mission are we on we are on the one to assassinate ozzy is it capturing it is I don't know if we need this, but I got it anyway. Um, and yeah, let's look at the mission map. Yeah, we still, yeah, we, uh, need to do that mission still. Totally acceptable. Watch as I f remember literally nothing about it. This is a, su this is a smash poster. All right, let's go. Let's go. Always on the mission, survive today. Yeah. Immediately, I need to remember. Right, Felix, then Ted, yes. I remember this. Okay, see you then. What are you trying to accomplish? Distract Ozzy during morning time. Did you fight with... Yes, I remember now. Yeah, we have to do the thing with Cindy. Uh, first, let's talk about the battery. Right. I think we buy the battery later, maybe? Your memory is remarkable in that I'm always surprised that it's so bizarre. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's very much like wandering around in a fog, uh, knowing that there's something you're reaching for, but you just you just don't have like the depth perception or the full clarity to, to know where it is. Like, it's there. The thought is there. You just, you, you have trouble reaching it. You know? But yeah, okay. The problem is that because we did two missions yesterday, like, so much of that information is, like, mixed up in what the steps are with the one that I hadn't completed yet. Yeah, let's talk to... Do we? I forget if we buy the battery first. I think we talk to... Hold on. Um, just in case, I'll buy it now before he leaves. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, I think I fucked this up, didn't I? Okay, yeah, now I fucked that sequence up. Uh, restart school yarn, yep. Right. Okay, let's, uh, yeah. Talk about the battery. Let's go buy the battery. Whoops. Okay. Ted wants your help with something. Sometimes I forget they're kids, because they all talk like meth-head adults. Yeah. It's very much like a South Park situation. 
Where they're all just tiny adults, if we're gonna be totally honest. All right, yeah, okay. Use some scissors to get this crud out of my hair. Right. We don't go to the smart class. That's what I remember from yesterday in this mission is that we made a mistake going to the smart class. Right. Okay. Why we, do we kill Ozzy? Well, you see, um, Felix said it's because... I actually don't know, but I think it has something to do with our inheritance. Your inheritance? Yeah, Felix and I are going to be getting a large sum of money when we turn 18. Felix as a dumb kid like me won't know what to do with it. Maybe he's right. Don't say that. Thanks, I appreciate that. How do we kill him? Well, I want to give him an asthma attack. He uses inhaler a lot. He keeps it in his cubby. Why do we need Cindy? We're going to need a long distraction. I figure we can pretend to fight or something to draw the teacher's attention and you can grab it. Let's get that inhaler then. Yup. Good thinking. And Nugget has arrived. They're rich. Surely they own an air fryer. <laughs> Was the best toy? You can have this battery. Yep. You can have that battery. There's some stuff in there that might be worth grabbing. Like money. No, no, no. The money is my cubby. Felix is to the right of Ozzy's. Right. Why does Felix have a cubby in this... In this, um in this classroom if he goes to the smart class. They probably own one of those smart touchscreen robo toasters. Oh god. Talk about a waste. You need to cause a distraction. He is. And he just is a piece of shit, as always. Take the inhaler. Take the stuff. Because Mon Monty and all of them use lockers, right? Unless Felix has to use these cubbies because they don't have enough lockers. Yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe, at you know what? When we go upstairs, we can uh, count the lockers, then we can count all the kids in the classroom, and then we'll know. I got it. What stresses him out? Ozzy is a bit particular, he likes to do things a certain way. If we break his routines, he should start freaking out. Where do we start? Lunch! He does a lot of really specific things there. It shouldn't be hard to throw off throw him off his game. Okay then. Tension new kids. Here's your passport. If you get an adult to sign it, you're allowed to out in the halls. Don't get any crazy ideas though. You're only allowed to use it once per day. Got it. Oh thank god, that's the bell. Get out of my classroom and go to lunch. Go to lunch. Oh, there you are. Time to move forward with the next stage of the plan. What is it? What the devil are you talking to him for? What are you two doing? Oh, uh, nothing, Felix. I'm just going to show the new kid where the forks are. Follow me, new kid. Okay, Felix can't know we're, that we're doing this. I want to do this to two of us so he knows that I can take charge of stuff. Okay. In a few minutes, Ozzy is going to leave and use the bathroom. You need to take a stall on the left. That's the stall he likes. So what? You like? Okay, I need to remember left. I need to remember the direction of left. So what? 
It'll stress him out. That's the name of the game here. We just have to keep putting pressure on him until he cracks. Now go to that stall and wait for him. Okay, geez. Oh, Felix is watching. Here's a fork so we don't get look suspicious. Uh, thanks. Also, did you talk to Carla? Will she forgive me? You want scissors. Of course. Well, you should probably do that while you're out as well. Good idea. Yep. We have the coupon as well. So I want to leave. So do we ask Carla to distract the tea? Are you liking the food? It's fine. Okay, I can't ask Carla to distract them. If I can't do that, though, do I have to eat food and then leave? Hamburger. Burger. Thanks. Now I'm gonna leave, right? I bought a burger! What are you doing? You can't leave. You have not eaten yet. Oh, my mistake. Please allow me to mark your passbook. Nice. Okay. If I assaulted someone, I feel like I wouldn't want to give them sharp objects. <laughs> yeah, well, Carla asked for them so she could cut it out of her hair, and, you know, we we didn't put the gum in her hair, so she's not going to murder us, I don't think. You know. Here you go. There you are. Thank you for buying lunch today. You're welcome. Hey, man, you need a pass to be out here. Go to back to lunch or I'm giving you study all. I have one. Oh, bathroom pass. Okay, go ahead. Thanks. Back it up, kid. Your pass is for the bathroom, not upstairs. I can't let you go up there. What can I do so you'll let me up? Hmm. Well, that little narc took my cigarette this morning. You wouldn't happen to have some to smoke, would you? I do. Whoa, this is even better than cigarettes. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Now he doesn't care. Okay, so we... Oh, wait, we can't count the classroom because the, that class is over. So... Go here. This is two apples, so I can't do this. I have to do... Oh, I have to buy... I Just use the coupon. I have the scissors now. We have one apple. The one on the left? Shit! I was too slow! Okay. Okay, so we have to do the errand before Ozzy goes. Uh, okay. Hamburger. Now that I got that, can I just ask you immediately? Okay. Oh, we're, we're right. We have to do this first. Right, right, right. Yes. What? Fuck. Do I have to... I guess I use it twice. What the? Who's in there? This is my stall. I use it every day. Come out right now. I'm not done yet. Acceptable! Everyone knows this is my stall. Now hurry up and finish! Just use the other one. The other one? I'd rather die! Then die. Ah! You haven't heard the last of this, kid! Bye, Ozzy. Not gonna lie, when I was a kid and uh, going to middle school, I also... Shit! Okay, we, okay. What am I doing that's resulting in me not having enough apples to do the job? I don't know. I'll have to try again. I 
I guess I do have to go upstairs. Oh, wait. Now I can do the stall. Now I can go upstairs and get the weed. Okay. All right. Now we do this. It's just stupid. All kids are autisms. Yeah, basically. They're all autism, autismo, or they are all, uh, like, psych psychopaths. Until uh, they grow slightly older and acquire a personality as a result. Now we get the scissors for Carla. Thanks for the hookup and everything, but you gotta get going, bro. Get going. Have you seen my inhaler? I thought I left it in my cubby, but it's not there! I haven't seen it. Darn it! Good thing I keep a backup in my locker upstairs. I'll just use that if anything happens. Okay. Carla. Get in the line, gringo. It's still my turn to jump on the trampoline. <laughs> gringo. <laughs> I don't remember if I already got this card or not, or if we failed to acquire it. Gringo. Yeah. She's pretty based. Uh, alright. Did you hear that? He has another inhaler! Darn it, we'll definitely... S well, he definitely seems stressed. I take it you made it to his stall on time? Yup. Good, we continue with the plan, then we just need to adapt a little. How so? We've got some things to do. One is to find a green flower. Ozzy is highly allergic. Just seeing one should be enough to freak him out. Where can I get one? There's a few around the school. I know one grows back in the dumpster. I'll be back with it. I want to be able to give Carla the, uh, the thing. Open the gate. Okay, we got the flower. Come on, Carla! Let me give you this... the scissors. Son of a bitch. Did you get the flower? Yep. Wow, you are good. Now we just have to get into that locker and steal the backup inhaler. How do we do that? There's only one person that can get us in that locker. And I put gum in her hair this morning. Oh, no. Well, let's see if we can smooth things over with her. Maybe she'll forgive me. I hope so. Get in line, gringo. It's still my turn to jump on the trampoline. We have a job for you. Is that so? And why would I be so inclined to help the kid who put gum in my hair this morning? I'm really sorry about that, but if it helps, my plan has been pretty success. Shut it, snob! Did you get those scissors I asked for? Yup! Good! At least I got that going for me. So will you help us? Ugh, I guess. If you do one more favor for me, which is it? You see that kid in the wheelchair over there? He's been making some moves on my turf today. I gotta show him not to do that. How? Here's a screwdriver. See to it that his wheels are less than operable. We can do that? No way! He'll see us! There's two of you! One of you pretend to buy something from the little fence, while the other sneaks behind him and pops out a screw. Not that complicated. We've got this. Good, come see me when it's done. we Will do. Huh, I guess we have to do this! We have to further disable a cripple. I feel sick! You're trying to kill another kid. That's different! I know Felix is a good reason for- Never mind. Oh, Teddy is so adorable. I hit, help him murder his family members over financial politics. <laughs> Let's just get this over with. Right, before you do, if we want to buy or sell stuff, you should probably do it now. I doubt he'll be in, mood if, in the mood after we ruin his day. Good idea. I don't know what we could buy from him that makes sense. What do you mean? The last part of my plan, you'll have to go to science instead of gym. I'll have to go to science instead of gym. Oh, I'll be... Oh, I, I need money! Okay. Okay. <sighs> 
<laughs> what you want to sell? This inhaler. <laughs> yeah, I can take that. I'll give you two dollar for a deal. Deal. Pleasure doing business with you. Don't need anything else. I'm ready now. Okay, I'll go pretend to buy or sell something. Just try to make sure he doesn't get hurt too bad, okay? I'll do my best. I only have one apple. How do I... Does... No, Carla doesn't... How are we gonna get Carla to help us? Oh, whatever. We only have one apple. How do we get Carla to help us with only one apple? Did I remove a screw from Monty's wheelchair? Yes. Oof! Ah, no, 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 no! What happened to my chair? This sucks. Why is this happening to me? Oh my, hey, huh. I'll get you, I'll let you get yourself together. We'll talk later when you're not, um, on the floor. Just get out of here. Oh, we just walk right to her, okay. Well done, okay, a deal's a deal. I'll see to that Ozzy's locker is open by the time you get to it. Uh, I have to be... Thanks. I feel pretty bad about that, but it was necessary. Sure it was. It's almost time to do the extra job now. Are you ready for your big moment? What do I have to do? When the bell rings, pay the lab fee and go to science. That's where Ozzy goes after recess. Then what? Once you're there, cause a distraction and sneak out. Grab the inhaler out of his locker. Once you have it, show Ozzy the flower. He should fall apart and die. Sounds like a plan. Felix and I will meet you after school. If all goes well, you'll be handsomely rewarded. See you then. Go to science. Welcome to science class. Today's lesson will be about plants. Please observe the common plant in front of you. Observe the plant. Notice how it is neither carnivorous nor poisonous, because the PTA is a bunch of cowards. Feel free to take a sample and look at it under one of the microscope. This won't do much, but it could if Ozzy's mom wasn't such a wimp. Force Ozzy to watch the acolyte! Oh god, yeah, then his head explodes, yeah. This plant is poisonous or carnivorous, which makes sense considering that this is a school. Ignore the plant. I have to cause a distraction of some kind. I think it's this. That will kill me! I can't believe we don't get sh to do show and tell. Hey, what's that? What? That pretty flower you have. Can I have it? This is funny because she's going to kill herself. I'm going to sleep. Long day. I'm tired. You have a good night, man. We'll see you next week. Can I have it? Only if you help me. Help you? I guess I could. What do you need? I need a distraction. I don't know. Dr. Dander seems smarter than Miss Applegate. He probably won't fall for any old distraction. You're going to need something big, like an electrical outlet. The electrical outlet? How's that going to create a distraction? Stick this in it. What's that going to do? Make a distraction. If you insist, but I want that flower before I do anything. I could get in trouble, but it'll be worth it for something so pretty. Fuck. Well, maybe we come back and we get the flower off her body. Okay, here. Oh, goody. Get ready to run. Here comes the distraction. I'm ready. Hey, Dr. Danner. Look what I'm doing. What? What are you doing? That's not a good idea. You new children are dumber than the monkeys whose brains I removed. Okay, nobody move. I'm pretty sure the power will be back on soon. Take the inhaler. Take the flower. And now we have Cindy's outfit. Ah, there we go. Everyone get back to doing science. Cool. <laughs> Welcome to the advanced class. If you are here, you have proven to be smarter than the other slugs you call peers. At least try to use this time constructively. Einstein was building ray guns in kindergarten, so you, so should you.
fried corpse of Cindy. She still has the fork. Rest in peace, Cindy. More like rest in piss. Do I show him the flower now? Let's see. Go away, kid. I'm trying to learn about plants. Check out this plant. Ah, no. Get that away from me. <gasps> I think I have an asthma. Give him some room. Damn it, Ozzy. We've been over this. Where's your inhaler? In my locker. Please hurry. <laughs> well, Ozzy, I have some bad news. It's not there. Though it looks like you're going to die here. But don't worry, it won't be in vain. If you sign on this dotted line here, I'm semi-legally allowed to use your body for science. <laughs> I'll just forge it for him. It's what he would have wanted. Good news, everyone. I've suddenly come into possession of a cadaver. Tomorrow's lesson will be on anatomy. I just noticed the body count in today's class has been slightly higher than average. Perhaps we could end the day a little early. Everyone go home. For science, Ozzy. Go home. Cool. Carla never used the scissors to get the gum out of her hair. That's that's That sucks, but okay. There he is, Felix. I told you he would do it. I... I didn't see Ozzy come out of the school. Did you really do what my brother is suggesting? Yup. Fascinating. Hmm. Well done, then. This is exactly what I wanted. Yes, exactly. I knew we could do it. And we did it all without your help. Yes, I'm sure Father will be quite proud. Give him his reward. Give him the thing. Oh, yes. Um, here you are. What is it? It's a pin from our company. It represents that you are a trustworthy ally to our family. Cool. Say, Teddy, would you mind telling the driver I'll be in a minute? I need a moment to talk to our new friend here. Sure thing, Felix, before I go, take this Monstermon card. It looks like kind of like Ozzy did before he, um, bye. <laughs> Just wait, Felix, your time is soon, yeah. Oh dear, what a mess. A mess? This wasn't supposed to happen. Ozzy wasn't supposed to die. You didn't want Ozzy dead? Goodness no, I wanted Ted dead. Why? Perhaps we could discuss the matter tomorrow? Perhaps. Excellent. Good day to you, Hitman. Good day. Help Ted prove his is worth to Felix. <laughs> Two new clothings. New Monster Mon. Yay! That only took half an hour. Despite the fact that we got halfway there yesterday. <laughs> Stressed Llama. One, deal two damage. Oh, shock, okay. One, reduce a green monster wants damage by three. That's not very red. Red and green are ally colors. What is that? It's a stressed llama. <laughs> reduce a green monster mon damage by three? That doesn't make sense for red. Red and green are allies. It's in my deck now, though. Even though I can't do anything because I don't have a full deck. Whoops. So. Uh, Aha! I think I want to do this one first, because I just want to kill Felix. I just want to kill Felix, really. I think I'm just going to do his immediately, because I want to kill him. So, start the mission by showing Felix the pin. That sounds very easy. I put on a new outfit. Let's look. Was this uh, this was Ozzy's shirt? His shirt is just barely different than mine. But sure, I'll do this. You know, to be intimidating. All right. I told you already, Teddy. The pen is foolproof. Just do exactly what I told you and... I know. Yeah. It'll be fine. Quit being such a... <clears throat> How long have you been listening to our little chat? Show Applesoft pin. 
Oh, my apologies. I didn't realize that you were a man of status. Apology accepted. You must be a new student. My name is Felix Huxley, heir to the Applesoft Empire. And I'm Ted. Ugh, must you always be like this, Teddy? Sorry, Felix. I guess that I should... Enough! My word, Teddy, you really are out of line today. Say, anyone with that pin must be trustworthy. Teddy, I think we should let this fine fellow in on our little plan. But... But I don't think it's a good idea. Ozzy is... Just shut up. If you won't help me, I'm sure this gentleman will. What do you need? Give this document to Ozzy. It's imperative that he reads and understands it. Got it? What does it say? Oh, er, uh, it's a secret. Just give it to him and make sure he reads it. Okay. Good. Meet me in the smart class after it's done. We have much to discuss. Okay. I personally want to read it, but I can't. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, Ozzy does go to the science class, so he is apparently intelligent enough. I guess Ozzy is supposed to be, like, the type of cripple that's also, like, a bit of a genius, I suppose. Oh, if I recall correctly, you go to the dumb class and show Teddy the note. Okay, let's try that. I can't believe it. It's not fair. Felix wants you to read this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow your roll there, new kid. I'm not ta taking anything from you. Your hands are filthy. So you won't take it? Not until your hands are clean. Get out of here, you filthy animal. Fine. Okay, I'll go by. Wait. Um, there we go, hand sanitizer. Use hand sanitizer. That's better. Let me see that thing. Ugh, typical Felix. He knows I can't read. Come on, let's find someone who can read this for me. Okay, then. Also him. Can you read... Come on, kid, you know I can. You also know it'll cost you. Do we have a deal? Fuck! Why so much? How about because I saw you talking to money bags over there? That and my medical bills are expensive. Do we have a deal? I can get the money. Fine. Don't take from the rich kid. I'll stick around so you can get it. Just hurry up. Well, does he understand what he's supposed to do? I need to borrow some money. Fine, here, take it. But he better understand the plan. Got it? Got it. Where's my money? You want this thing red or not? Here. Pleasure doing business with you. It says, act extremely vulnerable. Mention frequently how if something bad happens to you, it would ruin your mom's company. Okay, I guess I can do that. I don't know why he wants me to, but I'm happy to take his money. Good to hear. Go to normal class. We are not going to help Felix kill Teddy because Felix is a shithead. Hey, kid, I'm coming around to Felix's plan. Ozzy has been mentioning how vulnerable his mom's company is. I think Felix is onto something. That's great, Ted. Uh, that's not how we start the route, because we can't talk to him right now. So. Fuck. Okay, we have to go back to the morning morning. Oh, you sneak out to the dumb club. Okay, all right. That makes more sense. I have to start this all over again. So we need to get the hand sanitizer.
go to smart class. Welcome to the advanced class. If you're here, you have proven to be smarter than the other slugs you call peers. Please try to use this time constructively. Einstein was building ray guns at Gidnagar. So should you. And the assessment, yeah, we've, we've done this stuff before. Ah, good. I was hoping I would see you here. I take it as he knows his part of the plan. So... Oh. <laughs> oh, hi, Carla. So... Shetty, you show Teddy the note after Ozzy reads it. The problem is that I don't have the note anymore. So do I talk to Felix first? Because I think I need to do the assessment before I am allowed to leave. Okay, so I guess I have to do I have to consume an apple by talking to Ted or to Felix. Yeah. I take it as he knows his part of the plan. He does. Excellent. I suppose you would like to learn what the plan actually is. That would be helpful. Before I do that, I need you to sign this contract. It's basic non-disclosure. You can't tell anyone about this, especially Teddy. Sign the contract. That's what we show to Teddy. All right. You see, my father's company is very large and very important. Teddy and I are the heirs to his commercial empire. You want to be the sole heir. Exactly. Teddy is far too naive to run a business. He must be taken care of. So you want to kill him? Heavens no! I just need your assistance setting everything up. Ozzy is already doing his part. Non-disclosure doesn't matter if you're already dead, Bezos. What's Ozzy's part? Ozzy's mother has recently begun a startup company that directly competes with our company. But why not kill Ozzy? That's what Teddy thinks we're doing. He wasn't on board with the plan, but Ozzy is going to drop a few hints that should persuade Teddy to strike now. So what do you need me to do? Do you see that jar of spiders on the top shelf over there? Uh-huh. We're going to need them. Bring them to me before the bell rings. Can I ask why? Because Teddy, like most people, hates spiders. We need them. Get them now. How? There's a vent that's connected from the girls' bathroom. I had Carla jam it up before class, so Bob should have a ladder against it now. What about Bob? He's easy enough to distract, cause a janitorial emergency. That should keep him busy. Fair enough. Okay, I, I believe I, I have to do the assessment. I think. I have to take the assessment. Ooh, I don't know what I need. Hmm... You tell Teddy on the way and get the spiders from the bathroom. All right. Cool. Okay. I don't know what the importance of this choice is. I'll just get the spray bottle. Might have to restart back from this from this area, but... May I leave? Yes, that's quite all right. But just be back before the bell rings. Oh, Paul Miner doesn't give a shit. Okay, well. Hey, kid, I'm coming around to Felix's plan. Ozzy's been mentioning how vulnerable his mom's company is. I think Felix is onto something. I think you do get the spiders with the bottle instead of doing it the way Felix wants you, so that's probably correct. Something like that. He's trying to kill you. What? No! Felix would never. He loves me. He does this a weird way of showing. But this is his handwriting, and he's going to bury me alive, covered in spiders. That seems to be the plan. No. No? This time I messed it up for myself. Felix thinks he's so smart. Well, this time I'm going to beat him. So what now? We go along with his plan, only we're going to turn the tide on him at the last minute. So about the jar of spiders. Oh, right. 
Wouldn't want him to get want him getting suspicious. Hmm, I think I remember seeing some spiders somewhere. I think the bathroom. That's helpful. I do have a jar for you to put them in, though. Felix gives me a nickel every time I do something good, and I put it in there. It's empty. This is why you're going to fill it with spiders. Fair enough. Once you have it, head back to the smart class and wait for the bell to ring. Got it. What's the... You're not supposed to be in here. I'm not putting up with any more kids than I need to today. Get out. Yep. Wait, which bathroom? I guess I'll check both. Here we go. Wait. I sprayed the spiders. All right. Hurry up with those spiders. I have the... Oh, no, no, no. Don't show them to me here. If Dr. Dana sees them, he'll take them away. Wait for the bell to ring and show them to me at lunch. Will do. Uh, yeah, okay. Did you put the spiders in the jar? Yeah, I did. It's just that I hit a sp I used the spray bottle, and I don't know why that had anything to do with anything. I hope you all learned something today. Please go to lunch. All right. <laughs> Ted looks fucking pissed. This plan is just so good. I can't wait to see it come to fruition. Me too, Ted. <laughs> ah, right on cue. Teddy already picked up lunch for you. I'll take it you were able to get the item I requested. Yup. Excellent. But let's not let Teddy see it. Oh, I'm just so stupid. I would just love to see whatever it is you're hiding from me. But I guess that's part of your plan, isn't it, Felix? <clears throat> uh, Teddy, weren't you just telling me something about Ozzy? Something important? Oh, yeah. I conveniently heard Ozzy mention that if something happens to him today, that his mom's company would be finished. You were right, Felix. You're just so smart. Yes, yes, I suppose I am. So you're on board with our little plan, Teddy. On board? I'm ready to set sail, Captain. I'm just dying to help you. Oh, don't worry, Teddy. <laughs> you have the most important part. Anyway, for the re for the next part of the plan, we need something to dig us a hole. Know anyone who could help? I think so. Excellent. Lead the way. Nugget. Nugget is getting quite woozy. Nugget misses his arm. We need you to dig a hole. Nugget would like to dig a hole, but Nugget is missing his shovel and his arm. If we were able to provide you with those things, would you dig a hole for us? Nugget, for fuck's sake, go to the nurse. You assume there's a nurse in this school. What is it in for Nugget? You say Nugget a lot. Um, what if I took you to my family's, er, uh, Nugget factory? N nug Nugget. Nugget factory? Oh dear. Nugget will happily dig a hole for a trip to the Nugget Factory! Bring Nugget a shovel and an arm! And an arm! Nugget will dig a hole as fast as lightning and in as deep as hell! Right! Well, we can get a shovel in the giantess closet. I'm not sure what we can do about your arm, but maybe we can cover that at recess. Nugget eagerly awaits your return. Well, I admire his enthusiasm. I anticipated the shovel, but not the arm. So what now? Talk to Carla. She has a key to the giantess closet for you. Go get the shovel while I figure out what to do about the arm. Okay. Also, take my passbook. You'll need to get out of here. All right. If you cooked homemade nuggets for Nugget, would he be picky about them or be happy someone did that for him? I have no idea because he has moments. He has moments where he he's a bit he's a bit of a psychopath, but he's also like not a complete asshole all the time. All right. T hello, Carla. Carla, Carla, Carla. Hey, new kid. How are you liking the food? Felix said you have something for me. Heh. Lighten up, new kid. I got you. Here's the key to the closet. Have a party. Thanks. Psychopath, but not a complete asshole. So he's a cat? I guess so, yeah. Cats are similarly stupid, and cats also try to dig holes for no reason. 
actually, that's very apt, because... The reason cats try to dig holes when they're eating food is because they want to bury their food and eat it later. And that's kind of what Nugget does. He, he makes holes and he tosses nuggets in the holes. So I guess he is a cat, yeah. I bought a burger! So, I have immediately forgotten what I'm doing. Um, shovel. Uh, is there a shovel over here? Take the shovel. Hey, what the? Kids aren't supposed to be in here. There's lots of sharp objects and bad chemicals and blood. There's blood on the floor there. Did you cut yourself? Are you okay? It's not my blood. But, but whose blood is it then? I would have to be, but no, that doesn't make any sense. Something isn't right. Are you okay, Bob? I'm fine. Just having trouble remembering what happened yesterday. Why is this here? What happened? I don't know. <laughs> That's the bell. Why don't you head out to recess? I think it's best if I figure this out by myself. Go to recess. Bob's a nice guy. <laughs> Soon, Felix. Soon. Okay. Were you successful in your endeavors? Yes, were you? No need to be snippy. I've identified the potential donor. The trick is collecting, um... Goods. You seem uneasy. Well, this whole, uh, limb business was not part of my plan. It's making me slightly more anxious than I'm used to. Are you okay with killing your brother? My brother and I have had our differences. He's normally wrong, but I'm always right, and soon he'll be dead and I'll be alive. <laughs> Who is the target? The little wheelchair boy. He won't put, mu put up much of a fight. How do I get his arm? I spoke with him at lunch about a very lucrative business deal. So what? So when I give the signal, he'll meet me inside the sign... Inside... He'll meet me inside to sign the papers. He'll be all alone. It'll be the perfect time to strike. Got it. Excellent. Just give the word and I'll send the signal. Be sure to have your passbook ready so you can get inside. Where can I find a passbook? You mean you don't have one? That's right, you're new. Maybe someone threw, threw one away. Check inside the dumpster. I'll see what I can find. Okay. Monty always catches strays. Yeah. Oh, I have to get goo for the fucking dumpster woman. Who are you? My name is Agnes. This is my dumpster. I live here. So anyway, got any food? What are you drinking? <laughs> it's a lovely drink. Keeps me young. This Margaret dumps loads of the stuff in here. Now come on, give me some food. I have a burger. Ooh, a burger. It's got a smoky flavor to it. It reminds me of my cat, Smokey. Do you want him? Got anything else? Oh, you don't want my cat? That's too bad. Let me see if there's something else in here. Oh, here we go. What are the pass books you kids use? Thanks for the food. No problem. Bye bye then. I mean, I I have a feeling if I if I took her cat, she wouldn't give me the pass book. Otherwise, I would have taken the cat. Did you find one? Are you ready to get that arm? I'm ready. He's inside. Don't keep him waiting. Okay. I almost named my cat Buddy Smokey. Because it was very hard to figure out what to name him. Because he's like a very... He, he's white and gray, and his gray is very dark. So it's almost a smoky gray, but not quite dark enough, you know? Where do you think you're going? You're not allowed inside. I need to use the bathroom. Fine. Have a good time. Right. Hold it right there, kid. Not a step closer. I know what you're about to try. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, please. Felix is a good businessman, but I've been doing this a lot longer than he has. You can tell. Hey, 
What's going on over here? Only one student is allowed to pass through the time. Oh, shut up, Nord. We're talking business here. I was saying, you can tell him when you has to go back outside right now, and I mean it. Name him Dwigger? <laughs> Ah, okay, how about this then? <laughs> Stevie! Oh, ah! You shot! You shot my arm! My arm! It's gone! My arm! There's your arm, kid. You don't need mine anymore. You can tell Felix the price and the goods just double. See how he feels about that. Okay, then. Jim, please. Okay, Stevie. Come with me, okay? We're almost ready to make our move. Teddy, you know your job. I sure do, Felix. I just hope I don't mess this up like I always do. You know me, always screwing up. Yes, yes, yes. Now get to it. We'll meet you at the playground. <laughs> oh, I think is Bugs going to help us kill Felix? That's awesome. There, we're ready to move forward. What did you tell him? I told him to guard the location of the hole. Little does he know he's protecting his burial site. What's next? Go give the weirdo that arm. We'll need him to get started immediately. Okay. Do you have an arm for Nugget? Nugget would like an arm. Yes. Nugget likes this arm. Nugget is now ready to earn his trip to the Nugget factory. Good. Get digging. Nugget will dig, but teacher will not let Nugget leave. Teacher must be removed for Nugget to dig. I'll see what I can do. Only water. I wish they would let us have cherry soda. You're a fat fuck. Oh, I have to distract them with this, I think. Uh, well, actually, I don't know. Hold on. Go back. I take it the weirdo received his arm. Yep. So why hasn't he left yet? The teacher won't let him. Oh, of course. I suppose you have to get rid of Miss Jiggle Jugs over there. Ow. My goodness, you ask a lot of questions. She looks quite tired. A good smack to the head might send her over the edge. Find some way to do it. Yeah, it had to be this. Okay. As I suspected. And she chases, uh, Jerome. Jerome was a kind of a dickhead in the first game, so I don't really mind. So I don't really, I don't really feel bad for him much. Good work, kid. I appreciate your help. You think fast on your feet. No problem. Nugget will dig. Nugget will dig for the nuggets. Mr. Big Shot. Big Shot. Big shot. Okay. Have fun with that. It's almost time to make our move. With the Nugget Weirdo digging the hole and Teddy supervising its development. We just need one more thing. What is? Which is it? We're going to need something to rough him up a bit. Just something we can use for a good bludgeoning. I'll see what I can find. Excellent. Bring it to the sand pit where the grave is being dug. I'll see you there. Okay. I have to find a bludgeoning implement. Okay. Hey, bugs. Can I? The chainsaw is not a bludgeoning implement. Uh, isn't the shovel a bludgeoning implement? I can't go up there. That means I have to look for something in here. Oh, the stick the teacher used. Oh, let's try that. Yes. Oh, my God. <sighs> he was much faster than I thought. Worked up some sweat smacking him around. You killed Jerome. Yes. And I feel better and tired. No wonder the janitor likes hitting you kids with stuff. I'm just going to leave you there. 
Seems violent tendencies are part of Miss Applegate's withdrawal symptoms. Poor Jerome was just witnessing it firsthand. Take the stick. Now we have Jerome's outfit, his gym outfit. I've already forgotten where I have to go, though. Um, is it this direction? Yes, it's this direction. Ha! Huh, right on schedule. Did you get what I requested? Yes. Oh, the teacher's pointing stick. Excellent choice. This will do splendidly. Well, Teddy, it's time. Yes, Felix, it is. You're probably surprised to learn that this hole isn't for Ozzy. It's for you! Yeah, yeah, quit your monologuing. Excuse me? No, no, I don't think I will. Now, fatty! Hey, I said I could make a fun of my pop. I said you could make fun of my poverty, not my weight. Right, sorry. Okay, Mr. Moneybags, into the hole with you. What? No, 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 I will not be going into that hole. Teddy, can't we talk about this? My name is Theodore. No! Who? Now for the spiders. What? Drop the spiders in the hole. Okay, okay. <laughs> Felix is at the bottom of this hole. Ted has asked me to empty the jar of spiders into it. Empty the jar. <laughs> You're a failure, Teddy! Father will never love you like he loves me! You'll see! Perhaps, but it's hard to love someone who's at the bottom of a hole. Okay, digger kid, time to fill in the hole. And then you take Nugget to the Nugget Factory! The what? What's a Nugget Factory? Nugget was promised a trip to the Fancy Boys Nugget Factory upon completion of the Nugget Cave! We don't own a Nugget Factory! So Nugget has been lied to! He would appear that way! Then Nugget must seek vengeance! Come now, fancy rich boy! Take Nugget to the Nugget Factory! Ow! Stop it, you filthy mole creature! Nugget will stop when Nugget has gone to the Nugget Factory! I think it's time we wrap things up here. Fill in the hole, street rat! You got it, boss. <laughs> Bugs being a gooner, an absolute gooner. You got it, boss. <laughs> yeah, boss, you can make fun of my poverty, boss. Hey, boss, please don't make fun of my weight, boss. <laughs> I'll be seeing you in a moment. There's something I need to give you. Okay. Well, this was a sad day. Sad? Well, yeah. I thought my brother loved me. I guess I was just too naive to see the writing on the wall. That's rough, Teddy. It's Theodore. And yeah, it is rough. Anyway, about that reward. What is it? There you are, the finest semi-legal chemical in existence. What's it do? You know these pills from your old school? This is the key ingredient in making them. Interesting. You can also have this monster bond card. It kind of reflects how I'm feeling right now. Okay. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to have a rather long talk with Father. Good day. Good day. Based! Turning the tables help Ted foil his brother's plan. Woo! That's our canon ending for that character. I hope he kills Dad, too. It turns out that Steve Jobs died of cancer induced by his own son. <laughs> There's so many Monstermon cards, bro. Knight who turned evil. <laughs> oh, so I get. I guess the. I guess the joke is that, is that Ted feels like he's lost his innocence now. He died of ligma. Yeah. He was good, but then something cliche happened, and now he's not. <laughs> One gain three mana if your last discarded card is blue. That's a that's Black Lotus. It danger. One block a yellow monster mon. Well, that's on color pine. We 
We need nuggets for all three. Let's do this one, though. Start the mission by getting some contraband confiscated and then talk to Bug. Contraband. Like, do I have to use the chemical? That doesn't make sense, though, because we had the chemical. So, let's just bring the A, the A plus test. You know, we'll also bring the chemical just in case. Just in case. Let's be intimidating. You, you want to know something that this shirt reminds me of? It reminds me of uh, the Nijimura brothers. Like, if this wasn't pixelated, this looks like it would have billion written on it. You know what I mean? And so, I li so I like this one. What the fuck was the older one's name again? He's in like three ep two episodes. Is it Keichiro or something? I, I, whatever. He dies immediately, so whatever. Uh, yeah, let's go to kindergarten. So we need to have contraband confiscated. We don't want to... Okay, we need to get contraband confiscated. Lighter. Hello, my name is... I'm sorry, I couldn't help but notice that you have some contraband on you. I'm afraid I'm going to have to confiscate it. Contraband? Yes, that item in your pocket is not allowed at the school. I'm sorry, you'll have to report to study hall after lunch. Are you allowed to confiscate it? Of course. My mommy is the principal. She wants to keep the school safe. Fine. I'm sorry, but you're going to have study hall tonight. I really hope we can still be friends. I doubt it. Excuse me, Okuyasu's brother is Josuke. <laughs> Aha, Keicho. I was almost correct. It started with a K. Keicho. She took my knight, that little snitch. She has made a un very unstable enemy. Who are you talking about? The stupid principal's daughter. She somehow knew I had it on me. And now I I feel like I'm doing this weird fucking like swingy, like fake Boston accent for like half of the characters in the fucking in the game. The only one we need to remember is Miki Taka. <laughs> Not his, la not his middle initial and last name, though, because those are literally nonsense. The stupid principal's daughter. She somehow knew I had it on me, and I study hall. This new school is stupid. Maybe I could help. Have you ever had something dangerous wrongfully taken from you? Yeah, she took my stuff, too. She did? So it's not just because I'm fat and ugly. He said that to you? Well, no. I just assumed that's why she randomly searched me. So what do we do about this? I want my knife back. We gotta find out where she put it. Then we take her out. How do we do it? We need a man on the inside. Are you smart enough to get into that smart class? I'm pretty sure that's where she goes after this. Yup. Yum yum potato samosa. Ooh. Okay, good. Go make friends with her. Do a favor or something. See if you can get her to open up on where she's going to put out stuff. Um, sure. I really hope we can still be friends. I think we can. Really? Wow, that would be so great. I don't want to get people in trouble. It just sort of happens. It's fine. Thank you. You can have this friendship bracelet. It'll be nice to have some company in the smart class. I normally have to sit alone. 
I'll see you there. So, you guys best friends yet? You gave me this bracelet. We'll take that as a yes then. Get bug snacks, nerd. <laughs> just gonna open up to you during morning time. We'll get our stuff back, just you wait. Did we do anything else? Hmm, now that I think about it, she's the principal's daughter. Might be worth looking around the principal's office. How do we get in there? The principal doesn't even deal with discipline here. He just gives out study hall. I say talk to her. See if she'll let you pop in for a visit. That's worth a shot. Hello, I'm the principal of this fine school. I'm so happy to have so many new students today. Sure you are. Oh, I know what you're thinking, but I promise the school is safer than your last one. I don't believe you. I'll tell you what, why don't we have lunch together? My treat, we can address any concerns you may have. I'll give you one chance. Oh, goody, here's a pass that will get you out of lunch. Just meet me in my office and we'll talk this whole thing out. I'll see you then. That's the bell. Everyone head inside your assigned classrooms. Ew, lunch with the Clintons. Oh, God, yeah, and we're a child. We're going to be on a plane in, 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 in minutes. To an island that uh, cannot be named. You came to sit with me. That's so nice. You really want to be my friend, even after I took your stuff. Where is the stuff you take from kids? Oh, um, I don't actually know. It just sort of goes away. How can you not know? It's really strange. Sometimes I just forget things. I black out or something. But I do remember something about my dolly. Your dolly? Yeah, my mommy said I'm not allowed to play with her anymore. She's in the toy chest in the other class. What's so special about your doll? I... I don't remember. I know she's important. You should get her for me. Maybe then I'll remember where I put your stuff. I guess I could try to. Come to my funny island, child. There's contraband there. Oh, God. The contraband being orphan meat. I guess I could try to. What if the plot twist in K3 is that the principal isn't evil? That would be awesome. That would be so funny. As long as the plot just does not involve Nugget being evil. Yay! I can't wait to see her again. She should be in the toy chest. Thank you so much. I'll be back with her. I have to take the assessment. Always. I took the toilet paper this time. I don't know why. I don't really know what the difference is. Kid, what are you doing down here? You're supposed to be making friends with our snitchy friend. I need Cindy's doll. Oh great, that girl doesn't give up her toys easily. We'll probably make you play house for it. What can we do? The way I see it, you have to play along. We don't have time to set her up and get her in trouble. I'll do my best. I won't get into this thing empty-handed. What do you have on you? Some toilet paper. No, I saw her talking to the janitor earlier today. Would be, wouldn't surprise me if she was convinced him to be some hoyad muscle. Talking to the janitor earlier today. So? So I'd recommend using that toilet paper to draw his attention. Maybe keep him occupied so he ignores her when she calls. Good idea. Okay, once you have that door, bring it to the snitch. See if she'll spill any info. After that, we should get. We should be good. So I'll see you in lunch. Yep, those are urinals. Aha! Should I use the stall? I'm gonna clog the toilet. Hi, 
I just love this doll. She's so pretty, just like me. Can I have it? I suppose you could, if you could win custody. What do you mean? We're going to have to play house. It'll be fun. I guess we can. Perfect. I'll see you over at the dollhouse. Ex-husband. What are you doing here? It's not the weekend or Thanksgiving. I'm here for my daughter. I know you are, but I would be neglecting my duties as mother if I let her go with a filthy boozer let as under yourself. I'm clean now. Oh, really? You've been attending your meetings then? Let's see your 30-day pin. I did need the pin. I don't have it with me. Typical, you haven't been going. Just know that what I'm doing, I'm doing out of love. What are you doing? Hello, 911. What? No, this is the janitor. I know that. You gave me this number. Now, if you want any more stuff from my dad's liquor cabinet, you'll come in here and be a cop. I'm kind of busy and clogging a toilet at the moment. Oh, hey. One of them buddy Monstermon cards, you kiddos, you like. Are you coming or not? You're a vicious little spitfire. You figure it out. What? No. Get your crazy old butt in here and do what I say. My... My, my daughter, give her back. Nope. Bye. Bye, bitch. Did you get her? Here you go. You did it. I missed her so much. Thank you. This means the world to me. Happy to help. You know, I haven't actually told anyone that you had contraband on you. I don't have to. I won't have study hall? I think that's fair. You really did make me happy to Hey, what's this? What? There's some kind of thing sticking out of her back. It looks like some kind of old computer disk. Weird. Well, I don't need it. You can have it if you want. Thank you so much for being my friend today. Sure. I'm going to hide her under the table. My mommy wouldn't want me playing with her. Uh, okay then. So like, it's you and me. We know we know what, how the game ends and all that. I think the reason the principal take took her doll away is because it causes her to remember her life when she was still a human. Because I'm pretty sure that Penny is like she's like a robot clone of like a real girl. That's what my assumption is. That's my assumption. Well, how'd the recon go? Did she tell you where she put our stuff? Gave me this disc. Interesting. Well, we gotta see what's on it. We need access to a computer, and there's probably one in the principal's office. What do I do once I'm in there? I'm gonna cause an incident in here. One that requires the principal's attention. When she leaves the office, that's when you get into the computer. Good plan. One more thing. After you get the file printed, see about unlocking the back door. I have a feeling we'll need to get back up there. Can do. Now get going to the principal's office. We've got work to do. Okay. I'm going to see the principal. Ah, my sister wishes to see you. A mere child. She never wants to have lunch with her dear sister, but I guess that's not your problem. I guess not. Bye. Oh, hello. Please do come in. You know, I'm not going to lie. I like her. I like her pink flower and this pink plant. And the, the carpet and the, the carpets, though, are kind of excessive. But I do like this plant. This like this makes me think of like a, like a cherry tree, even though it's probably like some mutant monster thing. I'm so happy you came by. I'm always very concerned about the well-being of the stu- Sister, please! Come quick! The children! The children have gone mad! What are you talking about, Margaret? What's happening? Why are you covered in condiments? It is every lunch lady's worst fear come to fruition! It is a... a... food fight! Oh no! I do apologize, but we'll have to pick this up later. Please don't do anything while I'm gone. This will only take a minute. Take your time. We'll look for monster mon cards. 
lot of books in this bookshop. There's a bright red book that seems to stick out here. Pull the book. Monstermon card! A secret passage didn't open up. I'm a little disappointed. There is a Monstermon card in the book, though. It's a pink plant. I get the feeling that the science teacher had something to do with this. With its creation, probably. Probably using it as a bookmark. Oh, that's... That's... That's world building. Now that's world building. Looks like this box just has some of the principal's clothes in it. Weird. All right. It's just a calendar. Oh, how the seasons change. That's just what I do. <laughs> you can use all my basic lands for your books if you want. <laughs> There's like a million of them. What the fuck? I have a fucking America outfit? I just got a, an America outfit. It's funny, I sell bookmarks, but I just use random scraps of paper or whatever for bookmarks. <laughs> well, you know, you, you value the convenience, other people value uh, pimping their bookmarks out, I guess. This is the principal's computer. I can't read, so there isn't much I can do on it. Insert the disc. The document prints it out when I put the disc in the computer. I wonder what it says. Take the document. This door seems to lead outside. It's locked, but I can unlock it. Unlock the door. Goodness, what a mess. These dudes try to make me miss the ones I... Oh, I almost forgot I left you in here. My mistake. What were you trying to say? Like the Pippin one is the best-selling one. Good. It's I'm. They're lovely. They should love. They should like them. What were you about to say? What? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. I'll try not to. Good. I'm afraid our time is almost up. We'll have to try this again tomorrow. I guess we will. Please return to lunch and try not to slip on anything. It's a mess in there. Return to lunch. Oh my God! It's a bloodbath. Wait, no, I want to talk to... Fuck! I wanted to talk to Penny first! No, I don't want to restart all this! Fuck! We only have one apple anyway, whatever. Please tell me you got something. I got it. Hell yeah! All right, Monty, a deal's a deal. I protected you from getting messed up when the food started flying. Now you... Yeah, bo yes, Borgs. I read the stupid document for you. This thing looks pretty big. I can have it done when recess starts. Recess? But I have study hall. I want to know what it says right now. Come on, Bugs. You know it doesn't work like that. Looks like your little friend here is going to have to get the info for you. Boing, take this walkie-talkie. I want to know everything you know. I have a feeling we've just scratched the surface. Anyone who has disobeyed our lovely principal today shall report to the study hall. All others may go to play at recess. <laughs> Man. Maybe I can speed run the way the lunch works. Hold on. I want to see if I can talk to Penny. Rated T for teen. Yeah, there is blood and gore in this in this game. Okay, let's go get the costume again. I didn't get it that time. I guess it's permanent. Like Kirby 64. Ooh! 
I mean, he, he does Parasite the Maxim shit in that game, so yeah. Also, the bosses are scary, some of them. Damn it! Okay, there was no point in talking to Penny here. I took notes on everyone who threw food. Study Hall will be quite full today. Okay, snitch. Wow, it's like almost everybody except for Ted. Oh, there you are. I finished reading that document you gave me. It's a doozy. What did it say? Well, Penny is an android of some sort. What? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. The technology's astounding. How did that happen? Seems like she was attacked by a bear or something. Really brutal stuff. She had a lot of stuff replaced. Aha! She is a cyborg! That's why she isn't allowed to play with the doll, or else she'll remember when she was a, a normal human. Who, who's controlling her? Looks like there are three remotes that have full access. Those go to the teachers and the principal. There are listeners all over the school that only respond to one voice command. Which is? Oh, I'm sending you to the principal's office. Is there more about the remotes? Yeah, the remotes have four buttons on them. Green summons her, blue releases contraband, yellow deactivates defenses, red fires a laser. Jeez. <laughs> Grizzly Kun. Remotes have four buttons on them. Summon. Blue is summon. Blue release. Or green is summon. Blue releases contraband. Yellow deactivates defenses. Red fires her laser. I'm a fire in my laser! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Oh, you had three lightning bolts in your hand? Lucky. I'd remember that if I were you. Save your life. You get your hands on one of those remotes. Where's the stuff she confiscates? Schematics indicate that she has a storage compartment somewhere in her stomach. I don't know if there's an ethical way to get it out. Any ideas? Well, if I had to take down a robot, I'd probably try magnetizing it. There's a giant magnet inside the science class, but you can't use it. Why not? Because we're learning about plants in science class today. Unless the lesson plan changes, you're... Not gonna be able to get close to that thing. I'll figure it out. Hey kid, I heard the whole thing. Meet me upstairs in the science classroom. Cut through the principal's office. We're gonna bust this girl's head wide open. Oh, Doritos. Oh, Doritos. I wish I had Doritos. Let's have Carla call us a racial slur again. All right. So I have to somehow leave. Oh right, we have we unlocked this. Never mind. Cool, she's not here. No dear, this isn't the study hall room. Oh, my mistake. Could you show me the right room? Of course, right this way. Well, that didn't go so well. She's caught in the study hall room now, so we don't come down here. What should I do? The plan hasn't changed. I'm sure there's a way into the science classroom. You just gotta get in there and change the lesson plan to magnets. Got it? Got it. Once you do that, get back outside and wait for the bell to ring. Need a lab fee. I'm gonna need you to start in the science class. Oh, right, we have to go into the... this... shit. <laughs> I 
the legends are true. There is a couch in the girl's bathroom. There's a monster mon card between the cushions. Sweet. <laughs> Aha, unscrew the vent. Change the lesson plan to magnets. Change the lesson to magnets. Can I leave from the other side? Wow, it's locked on both sides. That's kind of crazy, but okay. Game's music, music is great, by the way. Uh, wait. I guess, do I, wait, do I just, uh... I thought I did what I need to do, right? Wait. What did bugs tell me to do? Now I feel like I now I felt I feel like I've somehow forgotten. Let's try that again. I feel like I have somehow forgotten. Go to the principal's office. I feel like I somehow forgot. I don't know why, but I just Somehow did. Wait for the bell to ring. Okay, so uh, me eating the apple was exactly what I was supposed to do. No, 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 I did all that. My problem is that I went to, uh, outside, I had an apple left, and I was like, wait, what? And I, I was confused. I was like, wait, did, was, did I miss an action? Do I have to eat the apple? But no, I did not. I, I was supposed to eat the apple because he said to wait. I don't have any food for the, for the dumpster lady, so I can't really do anything. Now we wait. Go to science. Welcome to science class. Today's lessons will be about magnets. That's odd. I thought it was plants. Anyway, magnets have plenty of uses in science, such as removing bullets from furniture or pulling aircraft out of the sky. Now observe the power of magnets. That's strange. The magnet doesn't seem to be working. It looks like someone has sabotaged my magnet. One of the gears is missing. I will not have some rat of a child running good science. Ruining good science. Children, it's time for a scavenger hunt. Whoever finds that gear gets a prize or something. Start looking. Um, hey, can I talk to you for a second? What is it? I think I'm the one that took the gear, you think? It's kind of a blur. I blacked out again or something. I think I put it in the blue locker, but I don't know the combination. I'll get it back. Something is different since I met you. I hope you find it. Go find the gear. Sounds like we need to get into that locker. I'm gonna talk to this koala girl. Apparently she's good at opening locks. Okay. Meet me upstairs by the lockers. Hey, I see you over there. No leaving when there is science to be done. I'm going to look for the gear. Oh, good idea. It might be somewhere in the hallway. Here's a hall pass, but I don't want you going downstairs. Understand? You got it. It's this one right here. The blue one. Hold up, guys. Let me see some passes. I got a job to do, you know. He's got a bathroom pass. He's got a hall pass. I got a lighter for you. We good? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Oh, jeez. Why did it have to be this one? This is Penny's locker. We're all dead if we get caught trying to get in there. Don't worry about it. 
Just pick the stupid lock so we can get out of here. No deal, man. We're upping the ante if you want in on this locker. What do you want? It's a special laser module that you use to fry kids with it. I want it, comprende? Fine, whatever. Now open the stupid thing. Easy for you to say. Get back in that classroom right now and I keep her... And keep her from coming out here. Do you know about her blackouts? We all do. We just choose not to talk about it because we all want to live. Now get in there and keep her from coming out. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how that happened. Let me look. Whatever. Okay. My chair is not magnetic. So, here's the thing. She told us... Uh, what, what did I do wrong? What the fuck did I do wrong? You ever feel like your job isn't really all that important? I don't have a job. Okay, hold on. had a doll yeah like I know she told me she hid her doll underneath her desk 
Was I supposed to go and grab her doll from her de from a desk? Fuck, how I don't even know how far I have to go backwards. Wait. Something's wrong. I think something someone's trying to get into my locker. I literally pressed my face against every single corner of these tables, except for that corner. We're getting the gear, remember? What? You can't go through my locker. I need to protect myself. I mean, my stuff. Why don't you play with your doll? My dolly. Yes, my dolly. When things were better. When times were simpler. Yes, I'll go play with my dolly. Good idea. Got it! Here's your stupid gear, fatso! You're lucky you're a girl, I would push you down the stairs for a comment like that! Just remember your end of the bargain. Bring me that laser module, I'll get, get it from you tomorrow before school. Yeah, yeah, you'll get what's coming to you. Here's the gear, kid. Get back in there and let's fry this chip. Push her down the stairs anyway? No, we like Carla! Before things were like this, before it happened. Oh, Dolly, I miss you. Let her enjoy that. <laughs> Don't talk to me unless you have that gear. But I do have that gear. You do? Well, that's splendid news. Gather around, children, and observe the power of magnets. Um, Dr. Danner, I, I don't feel so good. I... Oh, no. I am so fired. You think, genius? Shut up, Ozzy. No one likes you. Well, children, looks like this is the end of my tenure here. Stay in school. Don't do any drugs unless I gave them to you. Goodbye, then. <laughs> Poor Penny. I like Penny. Well, that worked way more violently than I thought it would. Yeah. What the stuff. Let's get the hell out of here. Right behind you. That one wasn't too difficult, other than me getting confused. I can't believe we did it. We took out an android and got my knife back. It's been a good day. I guess so. He has that laser thing, Koala. I'll let you give it to her. She kind of scares me. Okay, then. Commemorate the end of being spied on by a robot. Here's a monster manga. That's just a big eye. That's a bit of a stretch. Whatever, man. I'll see you tomorrow. See ya. Violencia! Muy bueno! So we have... Wow, that's a lot of outfits. And three cards! Your Monster Mon collection is coming along great. It looks like you have enough cards to make a full deck. Neat. It is neat. Open up your Monster Mon collection and build a deck. When you have a full deck, you can challenge other kids to Monster Mon battles during recess. Cool. Not muted, am I? No, okay. Chair of Spikes. Artifact. Two mana, deal four damage. Oh, that's that's a pretty good rate. Usually it's three damage for two mana. One, reduce any monster mon's damage by one. Oh, that kind of sucks. Forbidden book, artifact. One, swap mana with your opponent. It danger! That's crazy! Block a purple monster mon. That's in color, yes. Killer eye, organ. Uh, strange creature type there. Two, deal three damage. Plus three damage if your hand is all red. Must show your hand to opponent. Well, I don't uh, really have any way of doing anything profound with that. Ready to battle. Collect ten Monster Mon cards and make a full deck. I don't even know how the game works yet. 
I just make Magic the Gathering jokes. That's all I do. So we've done both these. Now we can do Nuggets. You can play a game now. Yes, I could. Yes. Okay. So we need tool belt and the 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 a the ace patch. Don't need the A plus. I'll bring the laser with me though, just in case. Also, we need this this outfit here is just too epic to not use. At least once, at least one of our days, we must use this. I am America Lad. Oh my god, it's John America. The founder of the America. The singular America. There is no other America. Well, Nugget is trapped. How did you get down there? Nugget was searching for a suitable place for the new Nugget Cave. So you crawled through a sewer grate. No, Nugget was searching for a suitable place to dig by the tree next to the handicap ramp. The ground started to shake. There was a cave in. You're handicapped? People seem to think so. Right, so what should I do? Find help! I ask a teacher or janitor or principal! Nugget does not care. Just get Nugget out of here! Okay, okay. It's funny, Valentine! <laughs> uh, the deeds done dirt cheap. I have no idea how he pronounces it. Hey there, kiddio! Your friendly school janitor. Friendly. Yeah, I'd like to think so. You just let me know if you need any help getting interested here. I'm always happy to help. Can I get by here? Nugget is trapped in the grate over there. Oh no, that's terrible. If only I had my trusty tool belt, I could get him out of there. Go tell the principal. She'll know what to do. I don't know. I just say D-Force. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It's easier to remember. That's why people... Are like, it was, it was abbreviated by fans down to D4C. Because, like, that's just... It's easier for the fans to remember it. I have your tool belt. You found it? That's wonderful! Hold on, strange child! Bob is coming to save you! I'm gonna get you out of there! Just hang in there! Remember to breathe! Nugget knows how to breathe! Nugget does not know how much longer he can stay down here! Get Nugget out! This will just take a second. Got it! There you are, little friend! Don't go crawling underground anymore, okay? Nugget fully intends to crawl underground again. Nugget needs a new Nugget cave. Well, uh, just be careful with that. Here, take this large janitor man. It is a Nugget of friendship. Oh, thank you! I'll see you around, little friend. Bob is officially... Bob is officially... Uh, our permanent friend forever because he was given a nugget by Nugget. I understand Nugget in a way. I'm not a strange child, but I'm a strange adult. I think there's a bit of Nugget in everyone, and that's why he's like the favorite character of the fan base. You know, he, he he's that autism goblin that just wants to do his one strange thing and otherwise not be disturbed by anyone. Man, anyone who doesn't like Dino Nuggies is an alien and needs to be, you know, launched into the sun where they came from. That was a very nice thing we just did now. I'm sure your little friend would like to thank you for your help. Maybe he does. Hey, Nugget, America has helped you now. Nugget has been saved. The very nice janitor came and let poor Nugget out. You're welcome. Nugget does not understand. Should Nugget be giving you thanks? I told him to get you out. Nugget does not believe you. Nugget does not trust you to be his friend. I want to be your friend. What is your offering? Offering? Nugget requests an offering before you could be his friend. Perhaps a pretty flower. I can get you a flower. Nugget likes flowers. Come, show Nugget the flower. Find Nugget a flower. Oh, right, we asked that the... Hello again, large friend of Nugget. Oh, hey, buddy. Glad you're not stuck behind that grate anymore, huh? Yes, Nugget appreciates freedom and Nuggets. 
Would the large Islander man please let Nugget buy again? Nugget requires a flower. Oh, sure, but um, what about your friend here? He's not handicapped. Neither is Nugget. You know what? I'm just gonna stop, stop digging this hole. Go ahead. Just don't get trapped in any more holes, okay? Nugget does not wish to repeat the incident from earlier. Nugget will be fine. Take the flower. Oh, this flower is quite pretty. How could Nugget have missed it? I don't know. Nugget, Nugget accepts this offering. Nugget will give you a chance at friendship. Nugget, you don't have a physical handicap, but you have something. Yes, he does. So what do I have to do? Normally, Nugget would make you find the five Nuggets of Friendship, but they have not been hidden at this school yet. What's the alternative? Well, Nugget could use some help building his new Nugget Cave. The last time Nugget tried, didn't go so well. What do you need? Nugget will tell you. Follow Nugget back toward the exit to the failed Nugget Cave. Okay. The first things Nugget needs for his plan is a lighter. Nugget needs a lighter brought into the school. You say Nugget a lot. In observation, has Nugget's potential friend also noticed the green of the grass and the blue of the sky? Are you being sarcastic? Nugget is being Nugget. Of course you are. All right, a lighter. Yeah, just uh, buy one from Monty. Has Nugget's potential friend found a lighter for Nugget? Yes. Good, yes. Nugget will need the fire, but Nugget knows that fire is not allowed in the school. Nugget's potential friend must sneak it past the Bad Penny. Why? The Bad Penny knows things. The Bad Penny sees things. Nugget does not wish to incur her badness. How do I sneak it in? Perhaps someone knows. Perhaps someone is sneaky. I'll see what I can do. Hey, main girl. Best girl, Carlo. Hey, you must be with the new kids. I'm Carla. Do you have any contraband on you? Oh, right. Do you want... Wait, no, this isn't the... Si this is for a different mission, though. So let's not do that. Yet. That's a strange question. Well, these are some strange times. I'm just trying to save you from study hall. No one gets in or out of here with anything dangerous. Metal detector? Yeah, and her name is Penny. How does she know? No idea. Can you get stuff in? Well, if you want to get it past the living metal detector over there, I can offer you my services for a small fee. Sure. What do you want smuggled in? This lighter. Consider it done. It'll be in the blue locker upstairs. Thanks. Nugget's potential friend has returned. The fire is in the school then? Yep. Excellent. Then Nugget's potential friend is ready to help Nugget find a shovel. Where can I get a shovel? Janitor buries many things. Perhaps he knows where to get one. How do I get to him? Nugget will remove teacher. Then we shall go see the janitor in the bath bathroom together. Okay, go do it. Hello, teacher. Oh, what do you want, Nugget? It is not what Nugget wants. It is what teacher wants. Put it out, weirdo! What are you getting at? Nugget knows where the principal's pills of peace are! You... you have pills? Yes, Nugget dropped them when the failed Nugget cave collapsed. The pills are near the handicap rail. Buy the handicap rail! Got it! Come to mama, you sweet sanity savers! Maybe you shouldn't have brought the laser? Well, I mean, I just didn't talk to her about it, and so... I think it's fine. Nugget's potential friend will lead the way. Nugget will follow. Did you actually have pills? No. Nugget lied. Nugget does not have any more. Okay, let's go. Miss Applegate, please. Open this door immediately. There are pills out there. Don't you understand? Not really. But you're a teacher, so I guess I have to do what you say. Good. Now come out here and help me. But I have to monitor the halls. Now! Okay, okay, I'm coming. I'll just lock the door behind me so no one else gets out. Do 
stupid lock can't get in the stupid weapons closet? You mean the janitor's closet? Same thing. Go upstairs and tell old Bob to come down here and open it. If Nugget were to do that, would the scary janitor man give Nugget a shovel? Sure, it's not my stupid closet, so you can take whatever you want. Just go get that key. Or Radio Bob let him know you're coming. Got it. Now quit dawdling and get me that key. It's kind of funny that with no interference, the first janitor just starts working with Bob like they're nor like like in a completely normal fashion. Without our interference, this janitor does not even vaguely care about attacking Bob. I thought you said tell Obama to come open it, because the <laughs> Yeah, it was Obabo, yeah. It was old it was old Babo, so it sounded like Obabo or Obama. Wow, that little hypocrite can't even keep the kids on his floor in check. Come on, man, let's get you back to class. I need to talk to Bob. Sorry, man. Rules are rules, you know, unless there's something in it for me. Like what? Well, that little penny girl took my lighter. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? There's one in that locker. Whoa, really? Well, would you look at that? Yeah, man, I'm happy. Go do whatever. Oh, hello! You must be the kid that's delivering the key to the closet and the other janitor. To the other janitor. That's right. Here you are! Hurry along, get it back to him! I hear he can be a little impatient. I've heard that too. Where's my key? Here, here. Good work, kids. I'll keep up my end of the bargain. What do you like? Shovel. There you go, kiddo. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta arm myself for war. Have fun with that. The bell has rung. Give Nugget the shovel. Nugget and his friend must return to the classroom of learning before teacher notices we're missing. Return to the classroom of learning. Teacher has not returned. Teacher really, really wants Nugget's pills. No, the teacher isn't back yet. What do we do? I guess we just go to lunch. That's what we'd normally do about right now. Nugget agrees. Nugget has business to attend with the odd, the odd lunch lady. Go to lunch. Hello, odd lunch lady. Hello, strange child. Nugget would like a hundred nuggets, please. Today is not nugget day. Every day is nugget day. No, child, today is burger day. You may have a burger. But, but, Nugget's name is not burger. It is nugget. Nugget sees a whole box of nuggets on the shelf behind you. You will have a burger or you will starve. Make your choice, odd child. Nugget will. Nugget just had an idea. Nugget will have a burger. Nugget sends his thanks to the lunch lady. Ah, Nugget's friend is here. Nugget needs help to get nuggets for the new Nugget cave. How can I help? There's a box of nuggets behind the lady of the lunch's counter. She must be removed. How do I do that? Nugget noticed there are only two nasty burgers left. Once the burgers are gone, the lunch lady will leave to get more. Then Nugget's friend can steal the box of nuggets. Do I need to buy those burgers? Nugget's friend can, or some of Nugget's other classmates. Nugget is not picky. Okay, then. Does Nugget have a real name, a family, a house, an internal monologue? Those are all very good questions. You should buy a burger. New kid, how you liking the food? You should buy a burger. No, no, I don't think I will. Nice try though, kid. Man, they got to you quick. What are you talking about? I'm not eating anything that Ord Margaret makes. I don't like the sauce she used. Okay, then.
I guess I just have to buy both of them. Or not. Damn. Uh, hmm. There's no trash bin. Well, this is a pickle. Uh... There's no trash can here, so I can't throw it away. You should buy a burger. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? I think it'd be easier to forget about all this. Forget about what? I'm not getting study hall over this. Just leave me alone. Okay, whatever. Flying he's gonna, like, punch me or something? What to do. So I need a passbook. Oh, um, let's see. Can I buy a. Oh, God, I'm so lost now. I don't. So I know if I want to leave to go to the dumpster. If I want to leave to go to the dumpster, I need to be able to leave the classroom, so I need... or the lunch room. Can I just eat this? No. I do not know what to do. Hmm. Sorry about that, just leaning forward. Yeah, okay, I am, I am not muted. All right. I don't know what to do. Or I need to make friends with someone else. In order to... Get them to get burger. Uh, yeah, I... I have no fucking idea what I am supposed to do. I am completely and utterly fucking lost. Try eating a, an apple and see what happens. See about Dr. Danner's leaving. Maybe I can go in, maybe I can go in here. Maybe I can trash one in here. No. Soda? I don't know what to do. How do I simply eat the food and then get another? 
use the... Go away, you vagabond! We're talking about business! You wouldn't understand! I was doing stuff I couldn't didn't help. No, it's fine! It's just I, I, I literally talked to every one of these NPCs except for Felix. <laughs> That's what happened. I just talked to literally everyone except Felix. You should buy a burger. I'm not interested in buying a burger. I provide food for myself. Why on earth would you want me to buy a burger? I'm a friend of your company. Oh, my apologies. I had no idea you were a friend of the family. You just need to be a buy a burger. Yup. Very good then. You heard the man, Teddy. A burger, please. Ah, uh, yes, Felix. I'll get right to it. Um, hello, Miss Margaret. Hello, unconfident, wealthy child. One burger, please. That'll be one dollar. Help yourself, child. Here you go. One burger, just like you asked. Thank you, Teddy. That will be all. I'll take a hamburger. There we go. My, my, my! The children are quite ravenous today. I must go get more burgers. This is a box of nuggets. Nugget needs it for his new cave for some reason. Take the nuggets. This outfit is so stupid. Did Nugget's friend get the nuggets? Did Nugget's friend get Nugget the nuggets for the new Nugget cave? Yes. Excellent. Nugget is quite pleased. The new Nugget cave will be... <gasps> nuggets, Nuggets are... Are... Cold! Nuggets, Nuggets cannot be cold. Nuggets, Nuggets should be at least a little warm. We can... No! Cold nuggets, cold nuggets, nugget. Cold, cold as nuggets, dead little heart. Um, nugget. Cold nuggets, nugget can think of nothing worse. Cold nuggets, nugget. What? Let's find a microwave. A micro. Yes, of course. Nugget had not thought of that. Take the cold nuggets, bring them back warm. Nugget will be here. Doing what? Banging his head against the wall. Okay, then. Now that's like a quintessential autism behavior right there of severe autism. Jesus Christ, okay. I muted myself in time without making uh, an explosive noise. Christ. Okay. Microwave the nuggets. Nugget. Why? Well, nuggets. I microwave the nuggets. These nuggets. These nuggets are warm. Nugget is at peace now. That's good. With these warm nuggets, Nugget is ready to compete. Lead his new nugget cave. Well, so sometimes he has the self-preservation of a teaspoon. Well, he is a... Uh, very durable. He like if you go if you go through one of the days with him biting his arm off, like he spews blood everywhere, but he doesn't die ever, you know. Hooray! Come see Nugget at recess. Nugget will show you the wonders of the Nugget Cave. Can't wait. Nugget! You little weasel! I looked all day for those pills and I couldn't find them! They were never anywhere there! Unhand Nugget! Nugget must dig the new Nugget Cave! No! Now I'm all hot and thirsty and it's all your fault! You're going to suffer like I did! Yeah, I thought that immediately. I remembered immediately. 
Not now. I'm busy torturing Nuggets. He made me look outside all day for pills, and now I'm all hot and thirsty. Want something to drink? I didn't get close enough for Stevie to notice, I guess. Oh, well, thank you. I suppose I could let this little monster go. But never lie to me again, you little mole creature. Got it? Yes. Nugget has it. Thank you for saving Nugget from the large teacher lady. You're welcome. It is time for Nugget to dig a brand new Nugget cave. Have fun. Nugget will. That was fast. So, um, I want to I want to try this monster mon thing. Can we challenge like Penny or something? Aha! I prefer to stay under here. Would want to get a sunburn. Yeah, a ginger would say that. Do you want to battle? I doubt some dumb new kids has what it takes to beat me. My red and blue deck is unbeatable. Let's go. Monster Mon is a simple and fast-paced card game. Try to defeat your opponent by reducing their health points to zero. Okay. This is the card name. This is the type. This doesn't have any effect in the game. This is the Monster Mon's action. For one mana, Celestial Slug will deal two damage to your opponent. This is the Monster Mon's reaction. You may play reactions when your opponent plays a Monster Mon on their turn. Reactions also cost mana, so be careful. These blue orbs are your mana, which you use to play actions and reactions. At the start of your turn, you will gain one, but you can only have a maximum of five. Interesting. What is this, Popper? <laughs> During your turn, you will you may pass instead of playing a card to gain one additional mana for a future turn. I understand. Now is the time to play. There are many Monster Mon with interesting actions and reactions to discover. Good luck. Play. All right. I have three mana right now. Your last discarded card is blue. Deal one damage. Reflect a blue monster mon. I'll pass then. Oh wow, reflecting it, oh, that's what it does. It doesn't just block it, it just, it makes it deal more damage to him. That's crazy. Deals more damage if you have less hit points. Let's wait to use that then. Let's try this. I just fucking stole all his fucking mana. <laughs> what the fuck? That's wild. I stole all his lands. Gain three mana if your last discarded card is blue. Reflect a red monster mon. Sure. Cool. Gains. Wait, no, no. Last. Dis no, yeah, yeah. Last discarded card was blue, so we gain three mana. Oh, no. That sucks. Deal two damage. Uh, I don't think I can do anything in response to this. Yeah, so. <laughs> if your hand is all red. <laughs> wow. I could finish him off maybe with that. My last discarded card is purple. Let's just try this then. Wow. That's not a red card. Locked. Oh my God, we're out of actions. 
What the fuck? Damn it. Oh, I think I win, right? Yay! You defeated that monster? You defeated Ozzy. Computer City, win a Monstermon battle. <laughs> no way! I can't believe I lost! Maybe you new kids are good at something after all. Gee, thanks. I suppose you've earned this Monstermon card for beating me. Now get out of here. Bye. Bye, bitch. Okay. Oh man, I'm gonna get addicted. Hey kid, looking to get on these swings, I guess? Well, I'd be careful, there's an odd riddle about these swings, it's pretty ominous. Where do you keep hearing these riddles? My sources are my own, do you want to hear the riddle or not? Fine. Yellow swing, blue swing, left swing, red swing. Yellow swing, blue swing, left swing, red. Then what? Return to the second, then return to the fourth. Get it wrong and I'm dead? Okay, hold on, I'm gonna ask you that again. Can I hear it again? So, yellow, blue... Okay, so yellow, blue, blue, red. Hold on. Yellow, blue... Blue, red. Return to the second, then return to the fourth. So then blue, red. Get it wrong and I'm dead? Yep. Yeah. Let's do this. Yellow, blue, blue, red, blue, red. Yellow. Blue. Blue. Red, blue, red. Red, blue, red, card, <laughs> Cyclops Duckling, okay. Nugget's new Nugget Cave is almost complete. There is just one more thing Nugget must do. Give Nugget the warm Nuggets. Here. Now Nugget and Nugget's friend are ready to enter the Nugget Cave. Okay, let's go. Behold, Nugget's new Nugget Cave. There is much to see and much to... Nugget notices that there is a leg. Nug Nugget was hoping this Nugget Cave would not have such grossness. How many were in that box? Apparently hundreds. There's skeletons everywhere. Yes, but Nugget skeletons don't appear to be people. The leg seems to belong to people. I can get rid of it. Nugget would very much appreciate that. Nugget's friend truly is a Nugget's friend. Uh, thanks. Take it. Thank you for removing the nasty leg. Nugget is satisfied with his friend. Please join Nugget in the gym when the bell rings. Nugget needs a friend to play dodgeball. Sure. Uh, okay. I did not think that, I did not realize that was gonna happen. Uh, okay, well. Oh, I have to do all this shit again. Oh, God. Let's try Cherry this time. Does she react differently? Does the Cherry Soda make her angrier? Do I have to fight... Ozzy again? Or did I permanently get the card? Okay, I think I got the card from beating him. All right.
this is a statue of a giant nugget. There's room in front of the front for some kind of offering. Okay. This is a skeleton of something. It doesn't look human, but it does have a wallet. Weird. Nugget's friend enjoying his stay in the Nugget Cave. Yes, but I'm ready to leave. I can't do that because that will be the last apple. Uh, maybe I should take... Actually, I should take the money then in that case. Nugget hears the bell. Nugget is broke, so he cannot afford the lab fee. Please come to the gym with poor Nugget. I'll go to the gym with you. This pleases Nugget. Nugget may have finally have a chance of winning a game of dodgeball. Go to gym. Teacher! Teacher! Nugget wants to play dodgeball. Sure, whatever makes you happy, Nugget. I just hope someone is able to knock some sense into you. Nugget is offended by scantily clad teacher's comments. Yeah? Teacher doesn't care. Hey, kids. Anyone who hits Nugget with a dodgeball gets a gold star. Nugget would like to see the other children try. Nugget will not be bested. Nugget will take no prisoners. The balls of dodging will rain down like nuggets and nugget holes. Nugget will... Uh-oh. What? Nugget's team has not acquired any balls of dodging. Nugget hopes you have something to block with. I do. Oof. Oh, man. I can't believe I'm out already. Nugget's friend has done very well. Victory is assured. Yeah, great. I think you remember the dodgeball salute? I got to move up, or else bugs will kill me. It is time for Team Nugget to attack! Feel Nugget's fury! Ow! Oh, catch it, Teddy! Catch it, you imbecile! Oops! Oops! Sorry, Felix! You were right behind me! You should have been able to catch it! Now we're both out! I'll do better next time, I promise! Now, friend of Nugget, arm yourself with the ball of dodging! Now strike! Strike with Fury! Strike for Nugget! Ouch! This stupid day can't get any worse. Screw this! Only one foe remains. Nugget will be victorious! Yeah, but you're up against me! I'm gonna throw this like I used to throw slap at you in our old school! Nugget is not afraid of stupid bugs! Nugget has a plan! Now friend, do the thing! down. Oof! Catch it, friend! Catch it, friend of Nugget! Do the thing! The ball of dodging is caught! Team Nugget is victorious! Nugget wins! Nugget wins! Whatever! Dodgeball's stupid anyway! Nugget wins! Nugget never wins! Nugget has truly found a good friend! Glad you think so. Nugget would like to present his friend with... Finally! Okay, kids, it's been nice watching you smack each other around, but it's time to hit the road! Go home now! Nugget will give it to you outside. See you there. As Nugget was saying, Nugget would like to present Nugget's friend with this. What is it? Nugget thinks it is a Monster Mon doll of some sort. The pretty Lily said to give it to a friend of Nugget, which Nugget's friend it now is. Lily is here? The pretty lily gave Nugget the doll. What do I do with it? The pretty lily said it makes a special noise. That is all Nugget knows. Okay, thanks, I guess. Nugget's friend may also have this Monster Mon card. It digs much like Nugget does. Great. Nugget, we'll see you tomorrow, friend. See you later, buddy. Woo! Nice. Billion Head Hydra. That sounds like a powerful card.
Dune Worm. Oh, Plotoa! Just three dam just three mana six damage. That's that that's a fucking lightning axe if I've ever seen. Lava axe, I mean. Cyclops duckling. Reflect the green. Yeah, it's just a fucking worm from Dune, yeah. Million head hydra. Deal three damage, plus three if your hand is all red. Interesting. Here's the thing. This knight isn't good unless I am discarding a blue card. So let's get rid of that. Let's get a red card. I think this is just fine. You know, this red card right here. What can I cut from this? And one damage for nothing is... Like, it's clutch, you know? You never know. Oh! If last discarded card is red. Okay, let's keep that, then. If hand is all red... And if last discarded card is red. Okay, let's get rid of this. That's like a mono blue card right there. Put in a uh, million head hydra. Now we want to get in, we want to get in more red cards. So let's uh, look for something to put sub in for Cyclops Duckling. One damage, reflect blue, reduce blue damage. Swap mana. This is just fucking so wild. I don't want to get rid of it. It's just so wild. I like the ones that are smiling. Well, this one ain't smiling, so we're going to get rid of it and replace it with the, the duckling. So half of our deck is red, so th these effects of getting extra damage from red or getting mana from red, this is uh, plausible. We could use even more red cards, but that we don't have any more. But all right, everyone. Thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. I really appreciate you coming here to hang out with me. We will be back in four days. Wednesday, if you live in the United States. We're going to have a chill stream, which is what the usual schedule is. I'm pretty sure that I keep wanting to play Worlds of Horror. I hope that's not too boring. It could always end up being Stardew, you know. Uh, but then, next Friday and Saturday, we will play this game again, back-to-back -back on those days. We're gonna... I don't know if we're gonna finish it next week, but we've done, like, half of the stuff, right? We've done half or almost, or more than half of uh, all the stuff, so we're probably gonna finish it next week. Um, and that'll be fun. I like this game a lot. And then, hopefully, the next game will release within the next three, two, three months. And then we'll have uh, the third game to play. Can, uh, get in on some of that hype, you know, while it's uh, still new. If you happen to be new here and you enjoyed hanging out with us tonight, if you think I deserve a follow, I'd appreciate that quite a bit. We stream three times a week for approximately two hours. Uh, and this stream will be re-uploaded to YouTube tomorrow night, where we'll join every single stream I've ever done. So if there are any you want to catch up on, you can find all of them there. Link is in the about section. And uh, yeah, that was a very long overtime because I was uh, having a good time with the Monster Mon shit. And I was also confused, and uh, a, a fuddy duddy silly Billy. But uh, now it uh, now it's it's time. So thank you all very much for being here. I appreciate your support in every capacity. I hope you have a good afternoon, evening, morning, etc. I will see you all again soon with a chill stream. But then, kindergarten two. Ciao.